What is the process of God creating? The process of God creating comes first and foremost by way of his thought, and then he wills uh, to create. By his wisdom, he knows how to create, and then by his word, he creates. Let's break this down. We know that God is one being. So he's one being, but he's three persons, the Father, the Son, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. And we can come to know God when we believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and we repent of our sins. As this occurs, the Holy Spirit comes to live within us, and he guides us along the way, reveals God's truths to us, and then we're promised uh, heaven as our home, and he continues to give us the strength to endure to the very end, keeping us from sin, giving us dominion over sin. Obviously, we can't be perfect in this life, but day by day making us more holy just as God is holy and saving us ultimately from hell and the penalty of our sin, which is damnation. So what is the process of God creating? God in his collectivity, let's think of a big circle. God in his collectivity has a thought. And this thought is instantaneous for him. Everything for God. We need to understand this, that God's ways are not our ways. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. God's vantage point is different from ours. He's timeless. We're in time. He's invisible. We are visible. He is uh, eternal, right? We are, uh, again, finite. He's infinite, right? So, God, in his collectivity and from his vantage point, everything happens within an instant for him. And this is only for God. He exists in a sort of supra-eternality mode where everything that has been, is, and will be has already been for him. Ecclesiastes 3.15 reveals this. So, uh, when we come to understand that God in his collectivity has a thought, so he thinks to create a world with those made in his image. This is all simultaneous for him, but for in order for us to understand, let's think of a big circle. God has a thought, all three persons. Then the Father wills to create. He wills to want to create a world. He wills to want to create those made in his image. He wills to want to create uh, animals and trees and so forth. Then let's think of a triangle within the big circle. So we start at the top, the Heavenly Father. Then we move... Uh, to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God. The Holy Spirit uh, then uh, filters through all the different possibilities, right? Because God is infinite, he could make uh, us at different times within time and space. He can make different, uh, he can make an infinite amount of, of uh, people made in his image, but he's chosen us specifically. God could cr have created a world where uh, zebras didn't exist, but instead there was a different type of animal that would be like a zebra, or maybe it wouldn't be like a zebra at all. It would be something completely different. God is omnificent. He's unlimited in creativity. So by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit filters through and filters out all the different possibilities. And then once that's done, we go over here to the latter part of the triangle. Then it's the Word who actually creates what is and we know that from John 1 1 in the beginning was the word word was with God and the word was God but then we look at John 1 2 through 3 uh, all things were created by him and without him nothing was made that was made so uh, what is the process of God creating uh, again we want to think of a big circle all three of the persons simultaneously have a thought they want to create and then the Heavenly Father wills to want to a create. He wants his will to be to create those made in his image, uh, animals, and so forth. And then the Holy Spirit, by his wisdom, uh, simultaneously filters through how things will be created. And then the Word actually creates what we know to be is currently, what is reality. So that's the process of God creating. Uh, all three persons have a thought. And then the Father wills to create. The Holy Spirit uh, has the wisdom to figure out what to create, and then the Word actually creates. May all come to know the one true God who is the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and repenting of their sins.